afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And today, folks, you're in for a real treat. We're here at 7920 West Earl of Bronson Memorial Parkway, or Highway as it is, and we're going to be going to Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. Now, if you're not familiar with Cheddar's, they are going to be opening up a Brooklyn location sometime in 2021 and 2022, where it tells me, but we just don't know where. So if you guys have never been to a Cheddar's, it's a great time for you to take an opportunity to watch the video and see what they have. Now, Cheddar's is part of Darden Restaurants, and if you're not familiar with Darden Restaurants, Darden Restaurants is actually based here in Orlando, Florida, and the original Olive Garden is down here. Not only that, they own Red Lobster, they own Bahama Breeze, they own Prime Grill. I'll put them up, lots of uh, restaurants that they own. So, like I said, we're here on Highway 192. This is Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna show you inside, show you what we get for lunch, and we're gonna bring Curly in too, because Curly's welcome to come in. So have a great time, hope you enjoy the video. So here we go, this is what you start off with in Cheddar's, they give you these awesome croissants. And um, this is really nice, look at this, this is amazing. They make it from scratch obviously, so we'll just give you a little tour of the restaurant. So we'll give you a little tour of the place on the inside now. Um, you, like I was telling you, this is owned by Darden, so this has a very Olive Garden type of feel to it. And of course Darden serves Coca-Cola, so you guys know I'm a huge fan of Coca-Cola. But this is a Tuesday afternoon at 4 o'clock, and I was very happy with the staff here. Uh, they allowed Curly to come in, which I'm very happy with. And because Curly's old, he's 15. And um, like I'm telling you, uh, very happy with the staff here. Very, very nice. So I just want to give you a little idea of what it looks like here. Really, really nice. They have, uh, I'm going to show you a menu in a minute. They have a great big fish tank in here, which I love animals, as everyone knows. And... Uh, I'm going to show you this fish tank. There you go. I believe that's a kissing guami, but this is, of course, a tropical fish tank that's in here. It's really, really nice. I love it. Hey, so we're here with the Marino family. Hey. <laughs> so they're going to tell us all about Cheddar's because I don't know anything about Cheddar's. What do you guys think of it? Honestly, this is like my fourth time probably coming here. Really? And it, we don't have any by us. Like, they're like far. So okay. usually this is kind of like a treat to come here because they're like so far away. So like I drive to Wisconsin and I'm always like, can we go here? Because it's so good. It's and where are you actually from? Is it what, What's the city that you guys are from? Huntley. So it's like it's like kind of like outside Chicago. Oh, okay. Because yeah. Yeah, you were talking about Wisconsin and like we're from Brooklyn and yeah. I, we don't have any of these over yeah, here. Yeah, no, no, no. I heard they're going to open up one in Brooklyn though. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. So this was a rumor. That's why <laughs> so I wanted to take a video. Yeah. Hi, sir. How you doing? I hear you're a musician. Yes. What do you play, sir? I'm a drummer. A drummer. Oh, so you're a percussionist. Sure. Very good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got to settle an argument. Who's the best drummer in history? It's That's, that's up for debate on who you're talking to, and it depends on who their influences were. Okay. You want to go back to Buddy Rich, you want to go back to Groupa, you want to do that, you want to do Rock Drummer's House. You could go to bon some people like Bonham, some people like Kurt, some people like... See, for me, I started because of Ian Pace from Deep Purple was my guy. Okay, okay. So, but really interesting. And even now, the younger ones, they have all different influences. Exactly. For me, it would be Neil Peart. That was like the one that I started with. Right. So you, you're a big fan of Chatters too? You like Chatters? Yes. Yeah? Yes, we do. Because like she said, we don't have them. So when we get to go to work, <laughs> we like to go. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you guys for sitting and talking to us. And you're going to eat now. I'm not going to bother yeah, you. No, We're going to continue you. our tour. So I'll, I'll show you the video yeah. name. Where you'll be on it. Okay. Hi Noah, how are you today? Are you enjoying your day at Cheddar's? Yeah? Did you bring your off? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Noah was a big fan of Curly. He made a cameo he, appearance. He, he petted Curly before Curly went to sleep. So as you can see, we got Curly here with us too. He's taking his little nap down there, visiting with everybody. Thank our special guests for being on the video. And, um, the place is awesome. I mean, you're talking all kinds of great things on this menu. I'm gonna take a, show you the menu real quick right here, but the food is really great. Uh, you're gonna see what we ordered. I ended up ordering the chicken tenders platter. You'll see that. And uh, they got steaks here, they got ribs, they got chicken. They have all kinds of great stuff. So you're talking things like Wisconsin cheese bites and buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. Here's a picture of that. You got your bourbon garlic glazed apple pork. And when you come in, you can see the menu is pretty sizable. Um, you have, like I said, everything, comfort foods like pot pies, 
You have scratch sandwiches like the bacon cheeseburgers. You got steaks and ribs and seafood. All kinds of amazing stuff. I was telling you, it's a mystery as to where they're gonna open up in Brooklyn. Uh, I had, had heard a really uh, good, on a good source that they're looking for a place in Brooklyn to open. Now, of course, I could think of a lot of great places that they could open, because well, Darden is very strong. So we're gonna see where it's gonna be in 2021 or 2022, but I think you guys are gonna be very happy to uh, see it open because it's a really great place. And uh, when you see the food that we get, I think you're gonna agree. So I ended up getting the Caesar salad here. I got the number eight special, which is chicken tenders, which comes with two sides and the tenders. So I decided to do a salad as one of my sides. And of course there's my Coke. So with the chicken, I also got French fries. Carrie did the same, she got a house salad. How do you like cheddar so far? It's really good so far, the salad is good. Yeah, you definitely come back? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. One thing that you notice when you come here, what I think is a mark of a good restaurant is that you always see a lot of takeout bags going out. The portions are really big. So the fact that people bring the stuff home to me is a good sign. I always, always look for that. So maybe I'll be doing the same, I don't know. Oh man, so look at this. This is a work of art. This is real southern country chicken with honey mustard sauce for dipping. This is golden brown chicken. This is amazing. Kerry got a little variation of it. Would you get the steak with that? Steak and chicken tenders. So Kerry got the steak and chicken combo with the rice. And I did the french fries with the honey mustard sauce. But this is golden brown chicken. This is probably the best tasting chicken I've had the whole time I've been down here. This up. is two thumbs up, right? All right, Siskel. Reber. Really amazing. So let me dig into this some more. So I was just talking to our servant. She was saying that the reason why the chicken is so good here is because these are real tenderloins and some places kind of use like, like rib meat or whatever. So this here is real tenderloins and it really, you could really taste the difference. And the batter is, again, scratch kitchen. Everything's made from scratch here. And uh, look at that golden batter. I mean, you just don't see that anywhere anymore except for here. So yeah, two thumbs up like Harry said. And, it's definitely a great place to come, and I can't wait to see this place open in Brooklyn because you guys are gonna go absolutely crazy bonkers over it. It's gonna be fabulous. I suspect that we're gonna be bringing uh, lots of food home with us, and uh, it was a really great experience here. I highly recommend that you come out to Cheddar's, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to them opening up one in Brooklyn. I think it's gonna be a tremendous success. And folks, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, my wife and I, we run a uh, suicide prevention foundation uh, we give out musical instruments to kids who are in need, programs all over the world. We're affiliated with uh, two Catholic churches in Brooklyn, OLPH and also St. Joseph the Worker. This week uh, at St. Joseph the Worker, we donated a violin and a, a nice uh, silver recorder. I'll show you right here. Um, we're available on uh, Venmo or PayPal if you'd like to donate to our foundation. And uh, a new thing that we're doing, Amazon Smile. Every time you buy from Amazon, they actually take a, a percentage from their profit not from what you're paying. So when you, next time you order from Amazon, just look under Amazon Smile for charitable foundations and put in the Waffles Foundation. And every time you make a purchase, uh, a proceed will go toward our foundation and uh, we'll be able to keep giving the gift of music to uh, everyone around the world. Uh, as you guys know, we lost our son Matt a year and a half ago and hence the name, the Waffles Foundation. His nickname was Waffles and that's why we call it that. And uh, he was a musician. He loved to teach kids how to play and we're just continuing his legacy. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, drop me a line. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and uh, let me know what you think. What do you think about Cheddar's? Where do you think they should open it up in Brooklyn? So until the next video, this is Al signing off from Earl of Bronson Memorial Highway in Kissimmee, Florida, right near Disney. Um, see you real soon on the next video. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.